Welcome back to my channel. I have got a super simple upcycling DIY today. I'm going to um, kind of give this fleece blanket an update, a facelift, hopefully make it a little bit more modern. I have this kind of vision of having like braids of the light blue on the outsides and then like maybe a stripe of it through the middle, maybe two. Um, and then have this kind of tie-dye pattern be the primary color of the blanket. So let's see how it turns out. I couldn't really find any examples of what I was looking for on YouTube or Pinterest, so I'm sort of just making this up. So I'm gonna start by untying all of these knots, which is probably gonna take me forever, so I'm gonna put on a movie and um, not bore you with having to watch me untie like 300 knots or however many are here. <laughs> So yeah, the story of this blanket is that we brought it from the US to Germany with us because it was our cat's favorite blanket. And when cats are adjusting to new homes, it's um, really important to have familiar smells for them. Cats are definitely creatures of place. So that's why we brought this with us. And it turned out to work out great. You know, they really liked having this blanket here and we did snuggle with them on the couch a ton with it. It was perfect for um, the first few months and winter when we first got here. But as summer rolled around, it was just like too heavy and the style wasn't really fitting my vibe in this living room. So I just kind of put it in a basket and forgot about it. And then I was looking for blankets to update my master bedroom, which is coming soon in a future video. Stay tuned. I um, kind of picked out the color scheme of having like blues and having this like moody blue color. And so I remembered this blanket because it is also two tones of blue. And I um, thought, hmm, maybe I could repurpose this somehow because the best stuff is the stuff you already have. Upcycling could turn out terribly, but whatever. At the end of the day, if it turns out terribly, it's still the cat's blanket. So it doesn't need to be stylish. They certainly don't care. As long as it's still cuddly, they'll be happy. Look at him. He's so curious about what's happening with his favorite blanket. He definitely has not interacted with this blanket since I last took it out of the basket. So clearly he's still happy with it and likes it, which is good. <laughs> Glad I'm keeping it. We've got more interested parties in what's going on with the blanket. Yeah, I know. What am I doing? Untying, untying. All of the untying. Well, I've officially acquired a project assistant on this project. He's right in between my legs. Yep. Oh, oh. Okay, so I finally finished taking them apart. I have two blankets. The second one, as you can see, is currently housing a cat. I decided to cut off all of the tassels of the light blue blanket. I'm gonna turn the light blue blanket into my braids. So then next, I cut the blue blanket into strips. I tried to get as many strips as possible out of this blanket, and in total, I managed to fit about 12. So that totaled um, four complete braids, because I'm just gonna do a standard braid with three strands. Once I finished cutting all of my strips, I began braiding them. I just did a standard braid, um, you know, one over the other, and created four long strips of braids. And this is what I plan to use on the outside of the tie-dye darker blue blanket. Sorry, baby angels, I need my craft project. Yeah, come on, come on. Time to get up. Don't worry, I'm keeping it. Yep. Yeah. Look at him, he's getting more comfortable in there. <laughs> this is not a hammock. No, no, no. Dankeschön. Once I had my four completed braids, then I actually knotted them on to the dark blue blanket using just a standard tie knot. I fed through the tassel from the dark blue blanket through one of the strips of the braid, tied a knot, and then tucked the end back through the other side. So there was a nice clean line along the dark blue blanket of the braid. Once I finished attaching the braid to the darker blue blanket, I snipped and cut off all of those extra kind of tails of the ties on the bottom side so that the bottom side would have an equally clean look as the front side. And that's it. 
it was pretty simple actually. Um, overall, I would say I'm happy with the look of it. It's a little bit cleaner, a little bit more um, kind of fresh look for this fleece blanket. But at the end of the day, it's still a fleece blanket, so it's only gonna look as fancy as a fleece blanket can look. In total, this was like a two or three hour project that I could easily do while sitting on the couch. This is a no sew upcycle blanket from a just kind of standard tie knot fleece blanket. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments if you are going to do this with one of your old blankets.